Hi everybody! Welcome back to SummerSlam. Uh, Prison Architect, I mean. Uh, the name of our jail is, of course, SummerSlam. Uh, lovingly named after uh, WW, well, E Wrestling now. Shows how old I am. I still consider it WWF Wrestling. It is clearly not at this point, though. What is this? Again! Every time! How many times do I have to look at that Polaroid of that crusty old... He looks like an English professor, but he is indeed the warden. Anyway, uh, we're back. We are um, doing okay. We're making some money. We got some guards. We have 21 out of 27 prisoners. We're accepting six new prisoners in. Um, in, well, four hours, which is uh, not long. They'll uh, turn up here, strip down. They'll be searched. They'll be taken through here, uh, and they will be dumped into their new living accommodation for the next... Well, 25 uh, to the rest of their life years, I guess. We got Adam Brown in solitary confinement who is thinking a lot about drugs. He's probably here because of his drug thoughts in the first place. And we also have Brian Doc Sloan who is in here uh, as well, actually just being uh, released. He's actually in jail for murder. He's got 25 to life for murder and could be our first death row candidate. You never know if he uh, lives to tell the tale. You know, he might get shanked or whatever in this prison. It's hard to tell. Uh, you never know. Everybody's in here is crazy. They're fed up. They haven't really had any time to visit their families because this has only just been made uh, and so on and so forth. Anyway, today we will, well, try to finish off um, cell block uh, A.2, I guess uh, what I was calling it yesterday clean a couple of things up we need to look at the schedule as well apparently uh these guys are not working because they need at least two hours of work this is according to rad carrot i don't know if you know who rad carrot is um but he knows a thing or two about games and he has given me the advice that i should change my schedule and tweak it a little bit uh, so i'm going to do that i'm going to add two hours of work for normal security uh between 11 and 1 p.m uh, and then for maximum security, starting at 2 until 4 p.m. Uh, so they don't overlap. And then this here may just be some more free time. I'm, I'm not sure. Shower. They're having a shower in the morning, and that's fine. They're eating kind of close together. Maybe we should have like a 7 a.m. eat for normal. Um, that might be a little bit better. And then what, like shower, like here? They can have a shower right after they're done eating. Let's do that. Okay, let's eat here. Um, and then during this time here, these guys can work more. There we go. That's a lot of time to work. But we're going to need it, right? They're going to need to be working in the laundry room. They're going to be cleaning up and doing other things. And there's going to be some overlap. So let's get these guys on lockup. Perfect. And let's change these guys' shower time here to this. And we'll have their eat time like here and here. Um, and then they can have some free time after they've eaten a little bit anyway, and then they can have lockup. So these guys are going to eat after these guys, and they're going to have a shower time. And then possibly, do they need like longer to eat? Or should they have some, no, they have yard time in the afternoon. Okay, fine, that should be good. And then uh, they can sleep, no, okay. Uh, do they have enough time to sleep? I guess they kind of do actually. That's more than enough time to sleep okay let's leave it at that for now um, and see how it goes although do we want maximum security having free time while these guys are working I'm gonna say no okay if you're in maximum security this is like this is the gauntlet isn't it this is like lockup time they are going to be crapping their pants but at the same time you do the crime you do the time right well, that's what they say anyway. I don't know if these guys are necessarily doing the time, but there you go. Okay, so the schedule is kind of sorted out for now. Um, we want to make some more cells so that we get our prisoner capacity up to 50, and then we unlock that grant. And then further on from that, I guess we want to make some license plates. But before we do that, and Rad Carrot again has pointed out, and a couple of other people have pointed out as well, we're going to have to do uh, this reform through education initiative where we build a classroom. Where people can learn how to cook and make license plates because we can't just get these guys in here without having any prior license plate manufacturing experience, right? Like it is a skilled job and there's a lot of money 
in education here. It's going to make the prison go round and work in a major way. So we're going to have to unlock uh, this grant. And I think the only way that we can realistically do that now is by having a extra grant, which is already proved. Holy shit. That's insane. Okay, let's also research micromanagement while we're just sitting around doing nothing, okay? The warden has to do that. Security can start uh, unlocking intelligence because he's just sitting around doing nothing, for Christ's sake. I mean, Jesus. Training your guards to become better at tracking or recovering contraband. Okay, this is going to be really good. And then we can get surveillance and dogs and remote access and a bunch of other shit after that too. Perfect. Man. Okay. Let's calm down a minute. SummerSlam is in good shape. We're doing good here. Uh, we have one hour and 40 minutes before six new dudes, normal security, turn up at our front door and we have to process them. Uh, in the meantime, everybody is busying themselves getting food ready for the prisoners, um, you know, tuning in all of their favorite TV and radio stations as well for the prisoners. Uh, do we need some more laundry machines? You know what? I'm going to say yeah, we definitely do. All right, laundry machines. Let's get like two more of these bad boys in here. And then let's also get some more ironing boards in here because we want to make sure that the normal security prisoners, when they do come in and start working, uh, that they actually have enough time to work. And what better way to work than with the power of local radio? That's right. They can hear about all of the happenings in the outside world. Because they're allowed to watch TV and stuff, you know? Like, they are not, they're not totally isolated from the outside world. Well, they shouldn't be anyway. Um, they're not allowed to take part in the outside world, but they should be able to find out what's happening in the outside world. So we're going to give them a radio so that they can listen to their favorite local DJ talking about stuff that's happening out there in the community, in the local community, and other things like that. And while they're working on cleaning other people's jumpsuits and stuff, that'll be good. I wonder if we can just, like, lock this open, this one anyway, and then it'll close in a lockdown situation. I think that'd be fine. All right. While everybody is in the canteen, we are going to search this cell block. That's right, everybody. There's a couple of people in the shower. There's a couple of people eating. We're going to need all of our guards in here. We're going to have to hire some additional guards as well. We want to make sure that nobody is tunneling out of SummerSlam. And we also want to find contraband and we also would like janitors to come and clean up just this big green stain that has appeared here somehow i don't know what that is what how does a green stain i guess maybe it's like fungus from the shower or something i don't know hey so far so good though look we found a knife on a guy in the shower who is now going to have to spend some time in solitary but i don't think we found any tunnels which is like a miracle. Like, none of these guys have been able to even start tunneling out of here. Which is really good. Alright, the danger level is rising. And that's because these guys are all pissed about that cell block search, right? But at the same time, I mean, it had to be done. Alright, before I get forget... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let us do the Reform Through Education Initiative. Boom! Alright, three grants on the go. That has given us a massive influx of money. And completing that is going to give us 40 grand. It's a hard one to complete, though. We have to have 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course. We have to have one prisoner pass the general education course, which in itself is going to be a miracle in this place. We need 20 school desks. That's not a problem. A classroom is not a problem either. And we have to unlock education through bureaucracy, which I don't think I've done yet. Who is that? No, was that you yelling boo, wanting to see your family? Because there's a place for people like you, Noel, and it's six hours in solitary confinement where you can think about your family. Hey, look, it's like 12 degrees. Look, all of a sudden, this place is much more colorful than it was. I guess it used to be really cold. Holy shit. Uh, we, uh, this is a general page for the cleanup crew. We need the cleanup crew to attend the canteen it looks like you guys haven't been here for the past 12 years oh my god it's kicking off what's going on here brown adam brown a 37 year old man has been injured outside and has had a tussle look at that we have to evacuate the families we're gonna have to do a lockdown what's going on here this guy wants drugs you know when we think about people who want drugs right you're out of here quit causing so many damn problems don't tell the other prisoners that there's drugs in here Jeez. You know what? 
He's normal security. We're going to have to bust him up to maximum security, I think. This, it's the only way, all right? Sean Ward, he's got possession three years, and now we're going to make him maximum security. That's right, you asshole. Let's see you complain about drugs now. Possession. God, what a jerk off. <laughs> Man, that felt good, actually. That felt really good. All right, uh, we need to hook up some water to this new laundry machine. I haven't done that yet. Anyway, there we go. We have water being hooked up to the laundry machine. When are these guys going to actually work? Okay, we're coming up to the big, long stint of work. And hopefully, I don't think anyone will work in the kitchen quite yet. But we should get some cleaning and some laundry out of these dopes at some point today. What in the shit? Soresby again. Jesus. Is there some way that I can send... It? Okay, we can put him in Supermax. I guess once we build the electric chair, we can actually sentence that guy to death. That would be great. Hey, look at these guys. Fuck. Hey, look at that. Hey, Reggie, look. You got lettuce again, you son of a bitch. Oh, you can't believe it. Nice. Anyway. All right, perfect. So far, so good, right? Oh, it's work time. Okay, let's see who's coming to work. Ah, look at this. It's Mike Maitland. Where could he be going? Looks like, oh shit, somebody's done a barricade. Oh my God. All right. Mike Maitland is actually working. Hey, Mike, turn on the radio. You can listen to the local radio while you do your work. You son of a bitch. Would you like that? Ah, I'll tell you what. This is a perfect spot for our classroom up here, right? It's going to be big. It's going to be big because it's got to be big. Uh, we're going to have to pack in a lot of uh, chairs and desks for eager learners to get their education on. And, oh, my God, here they come. Look at this. Look at all these guys with their mops and everything. What are you guys doing? Go collect the dirty jumpsuits and get to work. Look, we got ironing to do. We need some people to fill the machines. We need some people to test out the detergent by either snorting it or injecting it straight into your veins to make sure that it's not drugs. We got lots of jobs here for people to be doing. Oh my God, this is incredible. Look at this prison workforce go. Holy shit. Do you think some of them can get onto the gardening as well? Is that possible? Hey, what's this intelligence? Holy shit. <laughs> My god. I don't think I've ever unlocked that. All right. Food dis laundry distribution. Oh my god. Look at this. Temperature and prison labor. Here we go. Look, we can see where everybody's working. There is no option for prison gardeners just yet, but that may come later. All right. Anyway, warden. Please unlock education. That would be fantastic. In the meantime, we will get to work building this goddamn classroom. This is going to be really nice. Uh, we'll do like this, uh, like that, and then like this. That should be fine. Uh, and then we can make just a normal door across from the laundry room. These guys are going to have to come out here and build this first, though. Do they have access? Yes, they do indeed. Okay, perfect. Excellent. All right, so... Uh, it's currently work and lockup time. It looks like... Oh, Soresby's already out of the big time? Fucking no way. Not after that. You're going back in, Soresby. I don't care. 24 hours is not going to do you any harm, you son of a bitch. We're sending him back. That's right. No way are you going to just come out here and live in your cell um, and reap the benefits of cell life. No. You're back in solitary. No food. No free time. No nothing. Maybe that'll make you think twice about beating up the guards just acting like a general jackass your whole life you son of a bitch god all right perfect anyway Sorsby has been punished once again today um uh, it seems like every day that guy is being punished but at the same time we need to keep on top of troublemakers like him because they're going to end up bringing the whole prison down and that's not something that i can handle all right, let's get a door. We're just going to have a normal door here uh, in this hallway, and that's going to lead into our brand new classroom, which is on the verge of being unlocked. Well, it's like 10 hours away. Oh, man, the warden's going to have to work overtime. He's going to have to stay late. You know, his whole family's going to be pissed because he never comes home. They're like, oh, dad's lost it. Uh, dad, dad's lost his mind. He's trying to educate the prisoners, and he can't seem to tear himself away from work and stuff. What is this square here? What is this? What does that do? I don't get it. Uh, classroom. Where the hell is it? I'm looking and I don't see it. Oh, patrol. Uh, not even patrol. Pa parole. 
room. That's something that we definitely need as well. But uh, first and foremost, let's get a classroom, which of course is not unlocked yet. So there we go. There's that. We have to wait for it to be unlocked. And a a not a, pat a parole room, a, a parole room. <laughs> patrol keep saying patrol, but I mean parole. We need a parole room. That's right. For the parole hearings. You know what I mean? We're going to do it. Uh, we're going to plan it out because planning is fun. Uh, and it's going to be... It doesn't actually need to be a big room, right? Like, this is a hallway still here. So this hallway will go down to here. We'll have a room in here. This will be the parole room. Um, and this will go, like, to here. And this will... Like I said, this is the parole room. For parole hearings. Uh, because processing guys out of here is just as important as keeping them in here as well, right? I mean, I think we get some money uh, in the end for them getting released without incident. Preferably alive. Like, if they're released in body bags, I don't think we get any money. But if they get released alive, that's a pretty good thing. So let's go for that. Did we get these new guys in? Yeah, we have. Ah, look, they've all been processed without incident as well. And it looks like the reception for once is, like, relatively clean. There's not, like, a bunch of laundry or naked men standing around in the reception. It all happened very quickly. Perfect. We have seven, eight, seven or eight guards deployed to jobs. The rest of them are just, like, sitting around, well, basically opening doors for people, which is not a bad thing. That's pretty good. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go to quick build. We'll go to clone. And we'll get a couple more cells set up so that we can accept in some more um, peoples. Like, uh... At least two, I guess. Man, we got 30 grand in the bank. That's crazy. That's a lot of money. I can't believe it. All right, this one goes the other way, so I'm going to have to do this one manually. Uh, man, why did I do that? Why did I build these ones, like, the wrong way? What is this meant to be? Is this another shower room? D did I earmark this as another shower room? I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, that's not a problem. All right, let's get these cells set up so that we can just, like, copy them all the way up. This one, too. Uh, we'll have to get this, this, and this set up too. Uh, and then we're going to have to get the usual crap in here as well. We're going to need some beds for these guys to sleep in. And we're going to need toilets for these guys to poop in. And pee in as well. And uh, they're going to need some lights as well. Put some lights here like this. I like, the, I like the light in front of the toilet. I think that that's a good place for a light. And why not, right? So that's what I'm going for. We're going to put the light in front of the toilet and then have the double lights outside. Like this it keeps the whole place nice and illuminated. There we go. Some more lights there too. Huh. Man. A prison warden's job is never done, is it? Or, a, well, a prison architect's job is never done, I should say. Because I'm not strictly the warden, am I? I mean, I've hired a warden. I'm more of the architect. All right. Let's get some pipes in here like this. We need some pipes here too. One will have to come off here and then here as well. And then we're going to need a pipe to come in here and here and here and here as well. Probably all the way up, but I'm too lazy, so we'll do that after. What about electric cable? Okay, yeah, we're going to need to run some of this crap up here too. Make sure that the power gets to the right places. And we should be good. It looks like somebody's trying to steal some garden shears from the kitchen. I guess the cooks use those to, like, trim the cabbages, or maybe, like... Oh, my God. Seriously, Gareth Baker, what were you thinking? Taking a power tool out of the infirmary. What were they using that power tool for? They j just need to get in. Sometimes they just need to get into the cranium <laughs> to see what's going on. Holy crap. That is crazy. All right. We're going to need a... What, do we want, like, a staff door for this? I guess we probably want, like, a jail door here. We want to escort the prisoners to the parole hearing room, right? We don't want them to, like, go there by themselves and then just get lost in these hallways up here. Definitely not. Lacey, what do you got on you? You just went through the metal detector, and it turns out that Lacey himself is clean. He's fine. He didn't have anything. It just beeped. Must have been, like, his watch or, like... I don't know. Some sort of, like... Maybe it was just, like, a gun clip and not a gun. Maybe he just, like like has a lucky clip that he carries around with him or something that's plausible right you would still want to confiscate that though just in case he like teamed up with the guy carrying the gun without the clip and the two combined like voltron and formed a lethal weapon 
Probably, but you never know. Uh, do we want to get some more capacitors? I'm going to say yeah, just in case. We're going to probably need another power station at some point as well. Because if we're going to be frying people in this summer slam, uh, we're going to need a lot of power to do. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this person. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Fucking, it's Smith's mother. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Jesus Christ. Oh, my Lord. All right, she's out of here. She came to visit Smith, and now she's gone. Huh. Okay, so we're managing to cover everybody's meals. There's a couple of people who haven't eaten, and it's probably because they're in here. Look, Gareth Baker. You know what, Gareth Baker? I'm fucking bumping you up to maximum as well. Anyone who ends up in solitary for fighting or whatever gets bumped up to maximum. There's a special place in hell for maximum security prisoners, um, and there may be a special place built in this prison uh, which is like kind of a double for hell for maximum security prisoners because the goal, I think, eventually is to execute all of them, right? You know, so Gareth Baker, for instance, is in here for three years on possession. He will likely see the chair if I have my own way, <laughs> but <laughs> that'll come later. We'll have to see. I don't know if that's too much punishment or not. Hard to tell. All right. Uh, do we want some paving stone out here? I think we do. The smoking alleyways definitely need to have some paving stone. Uh, we don't want people enjoying uh, nature or anything like that out here. Uh, we want them to have some paving stone to stand on so that they are not throwing their old cigarette butts onto the grass and potentially burning the place down. That would be terrible. Uh, do we just want a normal door for the patrol? <laughs> for the parole? <laughs> patrol room? Yeah, does that work? That's probably okay. Perfect. Uh, we're going to need some electricity in here as well. Man, I feel like we're jumping the gun a little bit with the whole parole thing, but Jesus. I'm kind of excited too. It's a new room. I've never built one of these before. It's like a whole new room. It'll be like every time I, I, I think about a parole board um, or like a parole hearing, I always um, remember that scene from Train Spotting, you know, where Spud goes for the job interview and he has to take a shit really bad or or is he just like completely like tripping out or something does he end up shitting the bed or is it you and mcgregor who shits the bed with the sheets and stuff or is that spud fuck i can't remember either way though um i'm hoping that many situations such as that happen inside our new parole room parole. Your prisoners will be eligible for parole after serving 50% and 75% of their terms. Their fate will be decided in this room with the warden and the chief. Um, we have to also note extra security is advised prisoners have been known to become quite upset when their parole is denied. That's okay. That's why we got solitary confinement, ladies and gentlemen. We need a visitor table in here, apparently. Just one? Alright, fine. I can do that. So this is... <laughs> This is where it's all gonna happen. <laughs> Shit. This is fantastic. I think I made this room way too big. But at the same time, man, it feels good. All right, so we have a parole room. So we can now offer our prisoners parole. Uh, we're gonna need a couple of jail uh, doors on these new cells as well. And we should probably earmark them as cells too so that we can get another influx of crims into the system. And with any luck, we've also unlocked education. It's coming. It's almost done, for Christ's sake. Holy jeez. It's, it's been a long time coming, but next episode, I guess, we can build the classroom, start educating some people, hopefully get some help in the kitchen, uh, and fulfill our dreams of making a huge wood shop. Anyway, that is SummerSlam as it stands. Not bad. It's, uh, it's pretty big. Tons of room for expansion. Uh, and we will be doing... Just that. Next time. Excellent. Well, as usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.